Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? This is GamerSys, and today I'm going to be doing my very first Fortnite creative tutorial for you guys today. Now today I am going to be making a nice little street for your free for all map or block or whichever or whatever use you are using this for. It has a lot of good details to it and it's a pretty simple tutorial to follow. I'll have code on screen right now if you do want to go and hop into the world for yourself to see what exactly how it all looks and everything like that. But other than that, let's just get right on into the video. Alrighty guys, first you want to throw down all of your galleries. The galleries I'm using are Street Gallery A, General Props Gallery A, Car Gallery A, Cube Gallery, and Street Gallery B. Along that, I'm also using the Tree Galleries as well, and the Bushes one to add a little more detail as well to the center things. Originally, I did not throw this down, but later on, I did end up throwing them down. So also when you begin, throw down those galleries as well. Alrighty guys, start things off, you want to throw down just a regular street uh, block, and you want to do it in the way that I am doing it, so that for if you're doing it by 7 width, if you're doing it by 5 width, you can kind of compress or get rid of some certain aspects of it, but I like to make it a little bit bigger, so I'm going to be doing that, it like that. So you want to place it all the way down for how far you ever need to go, and you also want to do that exact same thing over here as well. So the second block in on each side, that is where you want to place down the street, and place it down as far as you want it to go. Alrighty guys, once you're done doing that, I recommend getting the half street, half uh, uh, sidewalk uh, thing or block and place it down all the way as far as you want it to go on each side. And then once you are done with that, you want to place the sidewalk going straight up the middle. Once you're done placing down the sidewalks and streets, go ahead and head to the cube gallery. Gather the yellow and white cubes and bring them over to wherever you're going. From there, you're going to resize them to as small as you can, and then once you're done resizing the whole block, you're going to change the resize to width. From there, you're going to make it as big as you can in width, and then place it into the ground, as I am going to be doing right here. Make sure you have it on terrain only, so that way it'll be able to go into the ground and nothing will be sticking up. Once you're done placing down all the yellow blocks that you're using for the lines and the going down the middle of the road, go ahead and use the white cube. Resize it the exact same way you did to the yellow cube, and then delete the last two lines on each, or the last line on each end of the street. And then place the small white lines going across, acting as the crosswalk in between each street. Once you're done placing the crosswalk lines, go ahead and grab this planter that I am using from, Gal from General Prop Gallery A. Place it down half a block in between each other and one block away from the edge of the street. This way it will give, give people a little bit of room to go and continue using the crosswalk across the street. This, steps, this next step is not really necessary, but I personally recommend. What you can do is you can move the planter closest to each crosswalk and put a food truck in its place. It will add a nice little bit of detail, in my opinion, possibly add a little variety of cars to the actual sort of street. Once you're done placing the food trucks, go ahead and head to back to General Prop Gallery A. Go ahead and grab that metal bench and put it next to each, and put it next to whichever benches you want to do. You can create a pattern or just put it randomly at each bench. It does not really matter. Once you're done placing down all the benches, head over to the car gallery too. From there, you'll see all the decorations for the street, including fire hydrants, mailboxes, and newspaper newspaper stands. Place them down wherever you feel like it is necessary. For here, I am going to be putting the uh, mailboxes and newspaper stands next to the benches. Once you are done placing down like the mailboxes and all like little details around this like the center area of the street, go ahead and start placing down the street lights. I personally recommend using grid snap four and drops on for this that way nothing would be sticking into the ground. But you can do whatever you want to do for this. Place it down on both sides of the road as well. And like I said, grid snap four is probably the best grid snap for the street lights. As you guys can see, the street lights really do make a difference in lighting up the whole area at nighttime. So for what I recommend from here is you go ahead and start placing down the cars before you start placing down the trees and bushes. This is probably the best time to place down all the cars and I suggest placing down a variety from all types of cars and trucks as well. Once you're done placing down all of the cars, go ahead and grab that tree that I just grabbed from the tree gallery. 
Resize it to make it a little bit smaller so it won't be disproportional. Once you place each one, I recommend switching around, uh, rotating it in the, uh, whatever direction you feel like rotating it in, so that way all the trees won't look exactly the same when placed down. Once you're done placing down all the trees, go ahead and grab the bush that I grabbed. You can choose to resize it or keep it the same size that it is already. If you, and then you can place it in whatever way you want. You can make it smaller and possibly put multiple of them in each thing, or you can possibly turn grid snap off and put in your own way or whatever way you want to place it in. The way I'm placing it, I feel like is the best way for these planners, but like I said, different people have their own opinions, so who knows for sure, and do whatever you feel like what looks the best to you. Finally, to finish off this build, pick up the street light and rotate it around 180. Put it on the other side of the road at the same spot it is on the other side to kind of mirror it. That way it will look really really good in the same thing. If it does not look straight towards the top of the pole with the actual lights, it is okay because that is how the uh, street lights are meant to work. Uh, there's no way around it or anything like that as the moment at the moment, so you'll just have to deal with it for now. Once you guys finished off the street lights on the other side, that is going to be it for today's build. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm not going to be doing the other side of the street light because that's really if you're doing... Uh, adding buildings to street and everything like that and this is just more of a tutorial for you guys to get a good idea on how to build a pretty good looking road i hope you guys did enjoy if you guys do as always make sure to leave a like if you guys are only to my channel hit the subscribe button but um yeah until next time bye bye if you guys do end up enjoying my tutorials or maps i make feel free to use code gamersets in the fortnite item shop it truly does mean a lot more than that until next time bye bye